I remember I was working for a year at the 9 to 5 office job. One of my colleagues, he just sat down right next to me and he watched my Wushu videos and he said, you know what Kim, you're, you're really lucky because you have that one thing, that one thing in your life that keeps you going. It was the best environment, but it wasn't what I was born to do, so to say. The thing about Wushu for me is that I keep on going back to training, I keep on coaching, I keep on making new projects for kids, I keep on doing all this stuff. And I don't, I don't really know why I do it. And I think that when you can't explain why you're doing something, but you still keep doing it, that's real love. Uh, you can never master the whole Wushu family. You'll always have something new to learn. I practice to keep an old tradition going. We all got a lot to learn from like the traditional Chinese culture. We live in a stressed out world. Yeah, you need a good career, or if you don't have a good career, you probably live in a place where there's war and terror. And I think it's good to like take a step back and breathe and get in one with what you really are. I would say it's no doubt it is passion. Um, he works really, really hard for it to kind of stay alive, especially in Norway. He's the one, I think, that is able to, like, he's working so many hours and it takes so much energy and he trains without really getting, without expecting also to get anything from it. What drives me now through my coaching and teaching is uh, I've gotten all these experiences of a lifetime through this sport. And if I have a student or more students that can like experience just 10% of what I've been through, then I know they're gonna have some amazing moments to cherish for the rest of their lives and if I can help them accomplish that then that's that's the biggest thing for me right now. Everything started from doing martial arts and becoming quite successful at it through competition sports so now I coach Wushu Kung Fu my martial art a lot of times and through that I'm also coaching uh, a professional hockey team here in Norway uh, in strength and conditioning. They kind of like the approach of going on about it in a little different way than most athletic trainers do. And uh, through that hockey job, I also got a job at the local school next to the hockey, where, I, where I'm an assistant teacher and I also have a Kung Fu program at the school called Kung Fu Panda. In 2008, I got uh, this amazing opportunity to go to China. And it was on a scholarship, which meant that I could stay there for free as long as I taught their kids uh, English. Then I could train with their professional Shanghai Wushu team, uh, which was amazing. Uh, but halfway through that stay, I got uh, a bacteria uh, through some food I ate that uh, eventually attacked my liver. 
I can't do as hard training as before and I can't eat the food that I want and yeah, it's really affected my life. First I didn't overcome it, I, like, I gave up, I, I thought my career as an athlete was over so I didn't want to train that much because I felt you can only do hard training. If you, if you can't train really hard you're not training at all. And, but then I realized that we have other aspects in the Wushu Kung Fu family. We have the softer styles, the Tai Chi and all that stuff. And yeah, I really got into doing more, maybe slower stuff that actually can benefit my liver too, actually. I feel like when I'm doing the movements outside, I feel at one with nature. And yeah, it's impossible to describe actually the feeling you get when you feel at one with everything around you. You're just who you are at that moment and you're part of something big. The times when he he has been very sick, yeah, I don't think it's been that easy to stay positive. Um, but he always bounced back and he always continues. I definitely think that we just saved him. I've gotten a lot of the philosophy and Taoism in the martial arts without even knowing. Mixing the hard and the soft, it's all been part of me for the last 17 years. It's given me a lot deeper perspective on martial arts than what I had as a 20 year old, for sure.